people say I'm no good and crazy as a loon. Cause I get stoned in the morning and I get drunk in the afternoon. I'm the Beardy Griddler and uh, today I'm going to show you how I prep my pork butts. Uh, this one's already done. Um, normally, if the fat cap was a lot thicker on this one um, than it is, you know, I might trim it down or score it as I did this one. I like to be able to get the spices down into the meat. Um, that's all good on this one. So, the, one of the tricks I use, pretty common in barbecue, is just take plain old, regular mustard. Doesn't even have to be French, it can be the off brand. And uh, just slather a light coat all over your meat. Get it nice and thin. And all we're trying to do is we're trying to get something on here that uh, the rub will stick to. You know, basically this is going to be your glue. Today I'll be using uh, just a, a simple JB's Fat Boy Rub, um, one of my favorites. You can find it online a lot of different places. Uh, it's more of a savory rub than a sweet rub. Um, it's one of my favorites. So after you get a nice coat of mustard on all your sides here, try to get the nooks and crannies too. You know, you don't, you don't have a problem getting the rub to stick inside there. Nice little dust here. I try to get, try not to get too crazy. You know, I don't like the, I don't like the, you know, hide the flavor of the actual meat itself. This is a fairly salty rub, so if you get, get carried away with it, you know, you can kind of taste it later on. Ah, let it sit for about 30, maybe 45 minutes. Um, I try to let that rub kind of set, let the mustard dry a little, and uh, it seems to stand a lot better during your cooking process. So I'll see you out at the smoker. All right, here we go. I got the butt started here. Uh, we seasoned up just now. That's kind of an experiment. Maybe I'll show you guys later if it turns out good. I got the smoker prep, getting ready to heat up 225. Another snowy day here in wonderful Wyoming. So uh, I'll let you guys see what we end up with in a couple hours. Cheers. Oh. All right, everybody. Uh, we're about seven hours in right now. I've been checking on them every hour, hour and a half. Uh, they seem to have stalled right here about 175, 180. Uh, Sunday, after 5 o'clock, I'm running out of pellets. I'm going to let them go a little bit longer. If they don't come up the temp, I'm going to wrap them in foil and uh, try to get up to that 200, 205 mark so we can pull them. Cheers! Uh, finally got past that stall, got them up to about 195, almost 200, started to run out of pellets, so I just decided to call it. Uh, I'm not going to pull them today, but I just want to cut into one real quick, and uh, let's see what the smoke ring looks like. Well, look at that. We got, we got like almost a quarter inch smoke ring there all the way around nice and pink juicy Let's see what it tastes like it's good to be the chef fall apart tender nice and moist still Nice smoke flavor. I used the Traeger Mesquite pellets today. One of my favorites, pork. Um, I think that's all for today. Thanks for watching.